Okay, it is the next morning, and here is what has happened. A few minutes ago I came out and I was putting the camera on its little stand here, and I was going to move in and remove our holder downer out of the ladder. And uh, there's a cord here that hangs, goes from my camera to the monitor. And I didn't realize it, it had hooked in somehow onto the pliers. I didn't actually see it happen, so I don't know exactly how it happened, but I can well imagine it happened something like this. And it pulled the pliers over. Now, consequently, let me get this cord back out of the way. Consequently, the uh, ladder is going to have to be put back into place. And I'm going to do it off camera. I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not going to make you have to watch this again. But I was noticing that we can now get at this little piece here, which I have to glue into place. It's just basically sitting there. So, uh, now is the time to do that. Okay, you can see on the top of this post, there's the antenna. And the antenna, as near as I can tell from the manual, is supposed to be facing uh, towards the uh, um, band stand. Now, <laughs> yesterday, I think I called it a banjo. Yeah, <laughs> and I also said uh, by mistake that the uh, that the gun on the top, <clears throat> excuse me, was called nicknamed Anti, and then I spelled it A U N T E. Well, it it was supposed to be uh, uh, A U N T I E. Uh, I got that wrong as well. So anyway, it's bandstand, and Anti sat on the bandstand. Now, speaking of banjos, a banjo is kind of like, okay, here, I'll tell you a joke first. How do you keep somebody from stealing your guitar? Well, you carry it around in a banjo case. Now, to me, a banjo is kind of like bagpipes. You either love it or you hate it. Um, there's, there's only once that I really heard a banjo being played live, and this goes way back to the mid-70s when the famous pianist Liberace came to Winnipeg. And with him at that time was a young fellow who played the banjo very well. And it was part of Liberace's act. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I, I can appreciate banjo music, but I far prefer uh, an acoustic guitar, uh, or, or maybe a pedal guitar. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's, let's get at this here. I, I think what we're going to do, um, get my extra thin here. I'm just going to moisten the bottom here. Okay, now somehow I've got to put a little bit of, probably maybe a, a CA thin, just right on that little bracket there that this thing is leaning against on the uh, bandstand. Um, okay, I'll put the macro lens on. Okay, I don't have anything on the applicator yet, but I think if I just move this ahead just a little bit, and then try and get a little tiny dollop of thin right there. Okay. I'm trying to pick it up here and I don't want it to go running all over the place. Now, I do believe that will be enough. I'll get my steady rest out of the way here. I don't have all day here.
Okay, about an hour has passed here now. And we do not want to be catching our little antenna with the rubber band. Now I haven't actually tested it yet, but now that the rubber band is out of the way, it almost appears like there's not very much CA glue on that little bracket. Now let's just see what happens if I gently touch this. Oh, for goodness sakes. Try and get it down there on the bracket. There, for sure I got it that time. Okay, our ladder is back on, and uh, I'm not going to put the macro lens on and take you in close up, because if I do, you're going to see how I probably use too much glue, but if we can keep you back at a normal viewing distance, uh, you're going to think I did a great job. Now, this piece is supposed to go right on here, something like this. Um, I'm wondering if maybe... Have I got that box maybe in the wrong place? No. Well, I guess that's right. Maybe the box is leaning back a little and that's why that doesn't want to go in. I'm just going to reposition everything. Now I didn't realize that this little ammo box or whatever that is was leaning back. and might be sort of preventing this from standing up straight. So I'm thinking that maybe what I'm going to have to do here how can I lay this down now? I think it'll be all right, all right like that. Okay, now, can I push this ahead or am I going to just sort of pop, break it off? Maybe if, I, if it breaks off, I'll just have to glue it back on. It's, it's on there pretty hard. Oh, there. Did you hear it crack? Okay, we'll just, just leave it like that. Now, we'll start again here. Okay, now these guns are supposed to aim straight astern. Hmm, it's not, not going on for some reason. I'm going to have to uh, maybe grab it a little bit different here. If I, if I grab it like that, will it work? Oh, something is holding it up. Oops. What's the problem here? Oh, there we go. Uh, no, that's not right. Those, those two boxes that are at the back are supposed to be uh, in in center line with the ship, like this. Maybe I'm gonna have to get the camera out of the way and just sort of wiggle stuff around with my with my uh, fingers somehow without breaking something. Now I think I have found what you might call the sweet spot, and uh, let's see if we can put a little bit of extra thin in there and I know I'm putting lots more on than I probably need to but I want to make sure that that plastic will You can see it's really welding itself down.
Well, I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. Now the other side should go a little easier because I do believe the box is a little bit more leaning forward. Um, we'll know when we get over there. I have turned our hood around. The stern is now to your right instead of to your left. And uh, the box that I thought was uh, giving us more room was this one. However, that's got nothing to do with this part right here. This one goes right there. We shouldn't have too much trouble with this. Now I'm thinking that once this evaporates, I just want to make sure it's pushed down as far as it can go. Yeah, I think once it evaporates, it's going to look okay. In fact, that uh, where it wicked out into the deck, it almost looks a little bit like weathering. I think probably on the real ship, it probably was a little bit dark there. You know, rust running down off of the pedestal part on into the planking. Yeah, that, that looks that looks good. I meant to do that. Now it appears to me that we have gone about as far as we can go on this page with what we've got. So we've got to be uh, getting our photo etch parts and uh, bending them and uh, I don't know, I've been thinking maybe I'll just uh, use the, uh, I don't know if I'll paint them or if I'll use the uh, uh, black brass or brass black. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, we do have our four searchlights. I saw them a while ago. Um, yeah, we, like I say, we've gone as far as we can go here now without nipping off some parts, and I guess we're going to have to paint these things. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>